What's up? I'm Jeff Everhart, a developer advocate with WP Engine. And in this video, we're gonna talk about some of the best headless e-commerce platforms to use with WordPress. The movement towards headless or decoupled sites involves giving site builders the freedom to use the platforms and tools they already have, instead of locking them into an ecosystem that won't evolve with their development practices. When we talk to developers considering switching to a headless e-commerce platform, here are a few of the things that they mention. First, all-in-one e-commerce platforms lack some of the key features that they need. If you have a traditional e-commerce site and it doesn't manage your content marketing collateral effectively, headless e-commerce patterns allow you to integrate other headless CMSs like WordPress that do a better job of creating and managing content. These developers also enjoy the API-driven development patterns that headless e-commerce enables. So if your business or organization has unique requirements, such as offering products for both wholesale and retail, or supporting multiple storefronts, it may be easier to support those use cases with the API-driven development patterns that Headless eCommerce enables. In addition, this API-driven development pattern can more easily enable sales in non-standard channels, such as in-game transactions inside of video games, or storefronts operating in augmented or virtual reality environments like the metaverse. Lastly, Headless eCommerce offers the developer total control over the site experience. While all-in-one e-commerce solutions can be great for getting a small business up and running quickly, at a certain scale, many online sellers may need more control over the site experience than these all-in-one platforms can provide. So whether the goal is increased speed, scalability, performance, or improved aesthetics, a headless approach can provide more granular control over those aspects of your e-commerce site. And anecdotally, this is what we see from larger brands and stores that want a higher degree of control than any all-in-one platform can offer. So when it comes to choosing a headless e-commerce platform, there are lots of options. And it's no surprise with all of this increased interest in headless e-commerce that both existing and new companies are creating solutions to fill this demand. As a part of our own research into the space, the WP Engine Headless Developer Relations team spent some time looking at the most popular headless e-commerce platforms, and we created a list that outlines some of the key features of each platform to help you evaluate all of your options as you pursue this new endeavor. So let's get started and see what some of these platforms can offer. BigCommerce provides a variety of e-commerce solutions, and Headless e-commerce is one of those features. There's already a Vercel Next.js integration with BigCommerce, and WP Engine is working on launching our own BigCommerce-based blueprint uh, later this year. The BigCommerce platform has really robust documentation for its REST APIs, and it looks like they're actually in the process of building new APIs using GraphQL. The platform also offers a service for generating webhooks based on certain events. It has a lot of other key features that are worth looking at. Shopify is one of the largest players in e-commerce and will likely be the most well-known name on this list. It advertises headless options as a part of its plus offering and overall has a long reputation of being friendly to developers. Headless e-commerce is enabled on the platform using a number of different APIs. The admin API offers features in both REST and GraphQL, while the storefront API offers developers GraphQL, a GraphQL API that they can use with a number of different SDKs, including Node.js and PHP. But Shopify also provides a JavaScript-based framework called Hydrogen that provides a lot of out-of-the-box configuration and scaffolding for developers looking to use React. And if you're looking to build apps or integrating with other services, there are webhooks that you can tap into as well. And if you doubt Shopify's commitment to the future of headless e-commerce, you need to only look at its recent, at the time of this recording, acquisition of the Remix framework, which should help support its continued involvement in the headless space and make Hydrogen a lot more developer friendly. Swell is an API first, as opposed to an API only service for modern e-commerce. The Swell platform provides developers with backend and storefront REST APIs, to create both custom administrative back office experiences as well as custom storefronts. In addition to these headless features, Swell also has a system of events and webhooks that developers can use to run custom business logic based on platform events. Since Swell is API first and not API only, 
It also provides some of the traditional tools you might expect with other e-commerce platforms, like a visual shop builder and admin interfaces to manage data, but also a hosted checkout page in case developers want to offload this portion of development to the platform. And it appears that a GraphQL API is in beta as of the time of this recording. Commerce Layer bills itself as a composable commerce API for developers. And this developer-centric positioning is apparent both on its website and in its onboarding process, which asks you to create inventory and run a test purchase all via CLI commands. In addition to 400 plus REST API endpoints, the platform also offers real-time webhooks in a few dozen integrations with other platforms. While it's positioned primarily as an API tool, it does include hosted checkout pages and carts, as well as an admin interface to manage that back office data. CommerceJS is an API-first platform that offers an admin dashboard along with a set of robust commerce APIs, as well as some of the hosted checkout features that we would like to see here. The REST API endpoints have lots of docs, and they also have a JavaScript SDK to make building applications easier. In addition, uh, CommerceJS has curated some framework-based starter applications that developers can use to get up and running quickly in their favorite framework. The platform also has a list of events that can generate webhooks. Now, one intriguing feature of CommerceJS is its positioning around alternative methods of payment and varying points of sale. They advertise things like payment via crypto gateway or with a QR code and taking payments inside of video games or from Internet of Things devices. Now, a lot of that is probably possible on the other e-commerce platforms, but it's really interesting to see it highlighted like this on the CommerceJS site because it really speaks to where the future of headless e-commerce is headed. Snipcart allows you to easily add a shopping cart to an existing website, and it's built around facilitating commerce using Jamstack approaches to development. It provides a robust suite of tools for sellers and offers a quick and easy JavaScript integration. If you're looking to create commerce functionality in an existing JavaScript app, you can use their JavaScript SDK, but they also offer a robust REST API as well if you want to integrate directly using another backend service or write your own integration on your front-end site. Like many other platforms, Snipcart offers event-based webhooks and has a number of community-supported integrations. As a WordPress-focused company, we can't talk about headless e-commerce without mentioning WooCommerce. WooCommerce is a plugin-based add-on that turns WordPress itself into a commerce engine. For most WooCommerce users, this means WordPress gets used in a traditional or monolithic way. But WooCommerce also enables headless development using both core features and additional plugins. So for example, WooCommerce extends WordPress's core REST API, which allows developers to integrate with WooCommerce in a variety of creative ways. But if you're looking to use GraphQL, WP GraphQL has a community supported add-on for WooCommerce that should help enable parts of that. WooCommerce comes with a lot of built-in tools for inventory and commerce management, but also includes a system of webhooks as a part of the API. As you can see by this table comparing the feature sets of all of the different e-commerce platforms we've talked about today, there is a lot of feature overlap and a lot of convergence on the particular tool set needed uh, for developers to enable this pattern successfully. Um, so regardless of whichever e-commerce platform you choose, thanks for stopping by and watching this video. Uh, and we look forward to producing additional content around the future of headless e-commerce as this development pattern evolves. Thanks for watching.